For today, which is the 11th of April, there's some activity out at Starbase, so instead decided to take the opportunity and look around the area and try to get some ideas of where a good viewing location might be, and also fortunately get the drone in the air and take a look at some of this uh, site that you can see from where I'm located. And right now I'm at uh, Isla Blanca Park, which is at the south end of South Padre Island. And as you can see right behind me, there's this channel that separates this island and where Starbase is located. And I know it's a little bit hard to see right behind me because of the size and the distance, but right around here is where the orbital launch facility is and where the Starship will take uh, off, hopefully soon. And also over in this area is where the production site for Starbase is located. So I thought I would get the drone in the air and give you some closer views and some aerial shots of this location. If you're coming to take a look at Starbase and you want to see the Starship launch, you may want to consider coming here to Isla Blanca Park, the south end of South Padre Island. It's one of the best places to see the launch and it's about as close as you can get as well. I believe that we are about five miles away from the orbital launch facility, which is about the inner limit of the restricted zone. So anyway, let's take a look at the drone video and the footage from around the area and just uh, appreciate this location, the natural beauty, and also the starship in the distance. We're taking off looking to the south on the south part of South Padre Island, quite a bit of souths there. But you can see across the channel the orbital launch facility on the left and also the production uh, portion of Starbase on the right. And this gives you a pretty good idea of the distance away that this park is and what separates the potential viewing location that you can see here along the shore and where the orbital test launch will take place. Now I'm going to pull back a little towards the north to kind of reveal a little bit more of the Isla Blanca Park section here. A lot of grassy area where I think spectators will be able to set up their chairs and uh, watch the launch. You can also see an RV park. It's a pretty large RV park here and you can uh, uh, come and uh, put your RV there and stay for a month or more, however long you might like. And also, there's a lot of local fishing here and open public beaches just to the left of this image. But for now, I want to continue to fly towards the south. We'll go over portions of the channel and take a look at the uh, star base and the facilities from this vantage point. Now, some people may ask, is it legal to fly the drone here? And the answer is yes. The temporary flight restriction and the drone restricted areas are to the south of where I am flying. And there is absolutely no reason why I cannot fly here. And uh, uh, it's a good question. And it is something that I'm uh, very much aware of to make sure that I'm not interfering with uh, Starbase activities or any other uh, activities and uh, um, I'm just uh, glad to be able to show you these views. On the left you can see the Gulf of Mexico and some of the waves coming in onto the uh, uh, the land near where the star-based facilities are located and I'm going to zoom in here to give you a little closer view of what this area would look like uh, this is taken from just to the south of Isla Blanca Park. You can see the uh, expanse of the wetlands between here and the orbital launch facility on the left and how close that is to the beach. And I talked about that in my previous video. And then to the right, you can see the production portion of Starbase with the high bay and the mega bay and some of the other facilities uh, on the right hand side of the screen. And I think this is a really great view of the facilities and what the launch may look like from this vantage point. 
So I'll let the video play uh, and you can appreciate the nature and what this area looks like uh, for uh, a little while while I fly the drone. from the footage this is a beautiful part of South Texas a uh, lot to see a lot of activities here and of course how Starbase looks from South Padre Island so let's continue to fly around uh, the drone in this area uh, to just appreciate a little bit more of the views uh, which are a little uncommon I haven't seen a lot of this done before so I hope that you appreciate this opportunity to show you how this uh, area looks from the drone perspective. So now I've turned the drone around and I'm looking to the north uh, to see what the beach looks like. You can see that public beach. It's uh, really beautiful. It extends as far as you can see to the north. This is a good view of Isla Blanca Park and where the parking and the viewing locations may be. Uh, some of the beach access and parking lots on the right hand side of the screen. That very large RV park that I mentioned earlier in the video. And of course, uh, South Padre Island uh, uh, complexes with a lot of the hotels and restaurants uh, about the middle to the upper part of the screen. And as I continue to position the drone and turn it around, I think this is a really great overall view of this area that would be a prime launch uh, location. If you want to come to this area, um, make sure that uh, you know that there's an entrance fee uh, for the park. It's $12 per day and it runs from 6 in the morning to 11 at night and uh, it's per car. So if you have a car load, it would just be $12 for everybody. Uh, I expect once the launch is uh, uh, finalized and we know that it's going to happen and we have a date, this is going to be a very busy part of South Padre Island. Uh, so just prepare yourself uh, for that. Make sure you bring plenty to drink, probably some chairs, of course, video cameras and uh, anything else to help document and uh, uh, remember this uh, historic occasion. And as I've turned back to the south here, you can see the orbital launch facility on the left and the production on the right. And I think this is a really great overview of uh, how this looks at a lower altitude and uh, overall pretty close to what you would see if you were here.
Okay, so that was a quick view here of Isla Blanca Park, this area, the, how close we are to Starbase and the Orbital Launch Facility where the hopefully the Starship will be launching soon. This is the second of what I hope to be many episodes for my videos while I'm here at uh, Starbase and uh, trying to be here for the launch, which I really do hope comes soon. It may be the week of the 17th of April, so just a few days from now. But uh, take a look at my next video when it comes out, probably tomorrow, and we'll get some closer views, I think, of an evening opportunity over at the production site. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And keep your fingers crossed. We'll get a launch really soon.